We are going to read a story today called Three Little Dassies. And this week, all of the stories we're going to read are being, going to be talking about different homes and such. And this story is actually going to seem a little bit familiar. Okay, it's going to sound like a story you've heard before, except the characters are very different. But see if you notice what it is about this story that's familiar and what story it is like. Okay, um, when we are at the end, remember we are practicing retelling our stories. And so you are going to be doing another fluency challenge. Um, you're going to have nine minutes to try to retell as much as you can about this story. So pay attention as we're reading. What do you think is the most important thing that happens at the first? What's the most important thing or two things that happen in the middle? And what is the most important thing that happens at the end? Okay, so that you are ready to retell. So think about those things and listen and enjoy this story. Okay, so this is The Three Little Dassies and it is by Jan Brett, which is fun because she's actually one of the authors we will read several stories from later this year. The Three Little Dassies by Jan Brett. Hot, hot, hot. The little Dassies were almost grown up and it was time for them to find their own place. Mimby, Pimby, and Timby waved goodbye to mommy, daddy, aunties, uncles, and all their cousins, and set out for the distant mountain. Come and visit us, they shouted. A place cooler, a place less crowded, a place safe from big eagles. So look at what type of animals you're seeing here. Look, they have a tortoise, it looks like, helping them carry their things. The sisters traveled all day and all night across the Namib desert, arriving at the foot of the mountain the next morning. This is where we will live, they agreed excitedly. Welcome, a squeaky voice called out from the scree. It came from a handsome, smiling Agama man. No one has lived here for a long, long time. Just me and a family of eagles up on the mountain. Eagles? The little Dassy shivered in the hot, hot sun. How do they feel about eagles if they are shivering even though it's hot? Do you think eagles make them nervous? You can see over here on the side pictures, this is something Jan Brett does. She's often telling more about the story over in the side. So here, do you see the eagle and some babies in the nest? And over on this side, we have the Agama man. Okay, so he looks like a type of lizard, doesn't he? Where would they build their houses? Mimby eyed the long grasses. These grasses will make a lovely, cool home, she said. And she set to work cutting twisting, braiding, and bundling. She finished in no time. Be near and dear, sisters, she said, crawling inside for a nap. Hey, notice on the sides, there's the Agama man. And here we have another sister. What is she carrying? So this sister did it with grass. And what's coming next? Pimby spotted pieces of driftwood. Silver from the sun lying in the sand of a dry riverbed. These will make a fine wooden house, she said, and she set about collecting as many pieces as she could find. When it was finished, she hung up a hammock and called out, Be near and dear sisters while I rest my eyes. Okay, so she's gathering the wood, building the house. Notice the side pictures. What do we see? What's well, over here? It looks like another sister. What is she collecting? Timby looked at the rocks around the mountain. I will make a stone house, she said, but it won't be as easy to build as one made of grass or sticks. And it wasn't. She had to work all day in the hot sun to get it finished in time to sleep in it that night. A gala man had been watching them. He was happy they were staying on. He had missed having company. Hey, look at the first picture on the side. What's happening? In the second picture, 
There's the Agama man, looking pleased. The three little Dassies slept late into the morning as the sun rose higher and higher in the sky. The big old eagle who lived up on the mountain stretched its wings and flew down to look for a meal for its hungry chicks. Mimby woke up and went outside. Suddenly, a long winged shape, shadow passed over her. The eagle, she cried and hurried back into her grass house. So here we see the eagle flying overhead. And how does the Agama man feel? Is he worried as well? There's the Agama man peeking out from a rock. I see you, Dassy, the eagle screeched and swooped down. I'll flap and I'll clap and I'll blow your house in. He squawked, beating the air with his wings until the grass roof sailed off. The eagle grabbed Mimby and lifted her up, up, up to his nest. So he blew over the house. There he is, carrying Mimby away. Look at the first picture. Mimby in the nest. But look over here. The Agama man. Hmm. But the eagle was greedy. No sooner had he dropped Mimby into the nest than he spotted Pimby in front of her stick house far below. Two Dassies would be double delicious, he thought. And he and down he went, feathers flying. Pimby looked up and saw him coming. She turned and ran back inside. The eagle landed and screeched, I'll flap and I'll clap and I'll blow your house in, he squawked. Twigs flew, sticks rattled until Pimby's stick house fell apart. Then, just like Mimby, she felt herself being lifted high in the sky and plunked down in the eagle's nest. Look at the Agama man still, climbing up, grabbed the dassy, carried her up to his nest. Timby looked out to call to her sisters to come for breakfast of a tasty seed porridge. But instead of a grass house and a stick house, she saw a long shadow streaking across the rocks. I see you, Dassy, here I come. Look at the Agama man. Now we have two sisters up in the nest. <gasps> Look at Agama man, where is he now? Ooh, looking on the sides, the eagle landed and shrieked, I'll flap and I'll clap and I'll blow your house in. He flapped and clapped and beat his wings. Dust and sand blew everywhere, but the stone house didn't move. He tried again, flapping and clapping even harder. Dust and sand got in his eyes, but the stone house didn't budge. And what's happening at the nest? Hmm. When the dust settled, the stone house was still standing, but the eagle was coughing and sneezing. His wing feathers were bent and broken, and he was missing tail feathers. Knowing when to quit, he hopped his way up to the nest. At least he had two dassies waiting for his dinner. Does he, though? Ah, a gaba man has been up there at the nest. The eagle reached his nest, but the Dassies were gone. He looked down and saw them at the bottom of the mountain, heading for the stone house. It was, was his last chance. He streaked down toward the open chimney. Here they are. They're running over to their sister. There's the open chimney. He's coming down. Oh, the Agama man is looking up at him. Inside, the three sisters hugged each other. There's nothing like a stone house when there are, are eagles abundant, they cried. Just then the eagle tumbled down the chimney. I'll flap and I'll clap it all. A hot blast from the fire hit him. Fly home for a nap, he squawked. As fast as he could, he squeezed back up the chimney and flew home, all black and singed from the smoky fire. And Mimby, Pimby, and Timby never saw so much as a tail feather of that eagle ever again. Does he still look like an eagle? He looks more like a crow, doesn't he? Oh, look, there's visitors. Mommy, daddy, aunties, uncles, and all their cousins, and a gama man, too, had come to celebrate. Welcome, the sisters cried, to a place cooler, to a place less crowded, to a place safe from eagles.
and there's the Agama man, looking over his new friends, very pleased. And if you travel to Namibia today, you will see Dassies living in the stone houses with the handsome Agana man looking out for them. As for the pesky eagles, they are easily spotted, for their feathers are as black as soot. And there is our story of the three little Dassies. What story did it remind you of? Did it make you think of the three little pigs? Yeah, and the big bad wolf. Instead of a wolf, we had the eagle. And instead of three pigs, we had three Dassie sisters. But we still had homes. One that was not straw, but grass. And straw is a type of grass. One made of sticks. And then instead of brick, we had a house made of stone. Okay, so it's very similar. Did you notice any other similarities? Have you heard other stories that are similar to this? Maybe we'll read some more. I hope you enjoyed it. What can you retell about it? Let's find out.